warning! You're watching Dr. Todd Lee TV, where theoretically you could learn a bunch of cool shit. Prostate health. So a lot of people are concerned about their prostate. I've never really seen a PSA or prostate specific antigen go up using anabolics. In other words, I haven't seen much markers that anabolic in reasonable uses with HRT or in bodybuilding causing an increase in the PSA or prostate specific antigen. Prostate specific antigen can go up in three situations, more, but primarily three situations. BPH or benign prosthetic hypertrophy, meaning the prostate gets bigger, but it's not cancer. Prostate cancer, which I've never seen, and with infections, which I don't really see. The solution for BPH, which is the most common culprit, when someone tries to pee and they feel like they need to pee and a little bit comes out, but not a lot, Usually, Flomax is the first line treatment for this. Flomax is a prescription medication, and Flomax causes the alpha 1A subtype receptor to be blocked. So it's an alpha 1 type A blocker. So it's not a beta blocker. It doesn't block the beta receptors that cause the heart to beat harder and faster. It blocks the alpha receptors normally, which are used for blood pressure that basically alpha one kind of sucks, but alpha one subtype A is specific to the prostate, the bladder, the ureter, et cetera. So it really allows you to pee better. Now, why do you have BPH? In theory, anabolic, specifically DHT is supposed to cause this. This isn't the whole story. The whole story is that estrogen binds to the SHBG molecule. The SHBG molecule binds to its own receptor on the prostate, and this makes the prostate more sensitive to circulating DHT. Now, I want to point out, this is DHT. This is not the DHT derivatives bullshit. So drugs like Masteron, Anadrol, just because that some idiots call them DHT derivatives doesn't mean they have anything to fucking do with DHT or how it works. It just means that they don't aromatize. That's it that they've been 5-alpha reduced. So the DHT derivative class is the 5-alpha reduced class. It has nothing to do with DHT whatsoever. So this myth that taking Masteron makes you have to pee a lot or makes your prostate swell is just idiots with a nocebo effect. They believe in something, so they imagine the consequences. It's just like how people say that their dick doesn't work because they use DECA, that that's all in their head. Maybe prolactin would cause erectile dysfunction, but a phosphodiesterase inhibitor type 5 like Viagra would clear this problem up without you having to do brain damage taking something like cabergoline or Prammy. Anyway, that's the long and the short of it. Flomax is a great drug to use if you're having a problem peeing. Great news. I am now partnered with Talon Wellness. Talon Wellness will be able to provide you your medication so you get your consult with me. I will review the blood work you got through m and Labs, and Talon will be the HRT clinic that will get you your medication delivered to your home. So there's nothing that changes on your part. All you do the same thing. You get the consult with me. Link is in the description box, and I take care of everything. It's just that now it is now a different HRT clinic, and the lab process is going to be even smoother. The prices will also be lower than they were with the previous HRT company. So this is all good for everyone. You'll love it. Click the link in the description box to set up your consult today, and on with the show.